Hey. Hey, what? What is it?
Do you know there's a girl crying on your doorstep? I executed her husband. What? You killed him? No, no, not like that. It was done lawfully. She knew he had it coming. So then, why... Folk would like to drive her out of town. She has no one here. For a while, I thought I could take care of her, but it wasn't to be. Why? Do you really have to ask? I can't even go to the tavern for company, and no one would sup their ale with me. And when I die, they'll probably push me into a hole with a stick so as not to touch my corpse. Is it really that bad? I'm not complaining, mind. It's a well-paid job, if you don't mind being a pariah. They might look sideways at you, too, just for talking to me. And that's what she's afraid of? Exactly. Doesn't that crying girl have any kin? None she knows of, poor lass. You could help her, though, if you wanted. Me? How? Elishka has no family, but her husband might still have some kin. Nobody will talk to me, but you could find out more. How can I find out if there's any family? Try asking Elishka herself. She knows a thing or two about them. But, in the end, you'll still have to go and find out something from the bailiff, or from the records at the Rat House. What would she have to put up with if she stayed with you? A lot, I can't deny. Most of the town folk wouldn't give her the time of day, at least not in public. If we had children, it would be even worse for them. That doesn't sound like a very happy life. It's not all bad. It's a well-paid job and even respected in a way. And when someone needs a bone set, all of a sudden they forget your reputation. Why do you want to find her family anyway? Don't you want her to stay here? I do. She's a splendid woman, but I'd never want to keep her here against her will. The life I lead isn't for everyone. All right. I'll see what I can do. My thanks, if only for the thought. I just can't. <laughs> um, Herman sent me. to end up <laughs> don't despair it could be a lot worse only death could be worse and I'm not far from it <laughs> can I can I ask about your family <laughs> what do you want to know don't you have any kin left Someone who'd take you in? No. They all died of the plague. <laughs> and then I ended up with that man of mine. I always knew he'd get strung up one day. <laughs> Didn't your husband have any kin? Maybe. He mentioned some, but we never went to see them. Is that all you know? Yes. But if they're anything like my old man, the bailiff and his catchpoles will know about them. That's all I need. and have a smell fresh bread and put what are you doing
God be with you. Do you know Eliska, the wife of the man who was hanged recently? The one that's with the executioner now. That's her. Life can be cruel sometimes. Um, right. And do you know if she has kinfolk somewhere around? How should I know? Now, if you don't mind, I'm very busy. Bailiff, surely you know me well enough to know I solve more problems than I cause. Lad, I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Run along now. I've no time for talking to you. If Eliska stays with the Executioner, it'll end up being your problem anyway. Christ, oh, all right then. Tell the scribe. Where can I find him? He's suffering with some ailment, so no doubt he'll be lying in his chambers above his study, on the top floor of the Rat House. Doing. What the hell are you doing? You! What the hell are you fooling about here for? Be off right now or I'll fucking see you off. Good day to you. The bailiff sent me. That's another matter, then. What do you need, friend? 
Is it possible to find out from the records where someone lives? You think we keep records of every serf? For Christ's sake, they breed like rabbits. But... but I thought that in the rat house, though, in, in, in the books... Boy, the books are for recording pacts, undertakings, punishments, property rights, and so forth. In other words, important things. We don't keep records of serfs. Eliska won't be happy about that. Eliska? You don't mean the one who married into the Mishek family? Yes. Yes, you know her. Why wouldn't I? I used to play dice with old Mishek years ago. He had a son, a nice polite lad. How is he? Oh, uh, you know, he's, he's quite tied up these days. Well, if you see him, tell him to swing by. And where are the Mishaks living now? A stone's throw from Rate by the small fish pond. Thanks. What kind of governor is Sir Hanesh? He's strict but just. Thank God for him. You don't get mixed up in nothing like that Sir Radzig, so you don't see no one attacking us. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? Bah! Don't even talk to me about it. I wish that rabble was gone. I know they've met with misfortune, but here they do nothing but thieve and make problems. What is it? All the crows in the ground, fresh, come right up. What is it?
What is it now? I've got information about your daughter-in-law. <laughs> Eliska's fine, only she needs... Never heard of her. Get lost. She's your nearest kin. Eliska's part of your family, and she really needs you. I won't help anyone. I could make it worth your while. Really? And what is it you want? Your son's widow needs help. She has nowhere to go. What do I care about some useless girl? She could help you with the farm. She definitely knows how to take care of things. We're all right on our own. We don't need another mouth to feed. This might help you decide. You can't be serious. With an attitude like that, you must be popular around here. I wonder how quick your neighbours would be to help you if you needed it. I wonder what they'd do if your house should happen to catch fire. What the...? And if you happen by chance to be locked inside. What are you implying, boy? Shall I go and get my pitchfork? Oh, to hell with it, then. Listen, you old hag. If you interrupt me one more time... Fuck off! Push off, you beggar! What do you want? I could make it worth your while. Really? And what is it you want? Your son's widow needs help. What do I care? <sighs> this might help you decide. You took the words out of my mouth. Send her here, then. But don't let her think she'll be taking it easy. She'll have her work cut out. That sounds quite... And if I hear a peep out of her, I'll take a stick to her back. Fine salvation this is.
I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Ilishka's looking better. She is, but she's not happy. God sent the poor girl great trials. Indeed. Did you know her whole family was wiped out by the plague? She was barely twelve. I... Losing your family isn't easy. Ah, sorry, I wasn't thinking. So, did you find out anything about that kin of hers? I have. It's a family, and they'll take her in. At least she'll be better off. Hey! You're not crying now? I'm not. I've wept enough for a lifetime. It's a bit of a change since my last visit. I haven't had much luck in my life, but I've always worked things out in the end. Tears are no help to anything. That's true. So did you find out something about them? I did. I found your husband's father and mother and uh, they're willing to take you in. But? They're, um, they're not very nice people, Elishka. They probably work you to the bone, but you would get fed. Life is never easy, but at least I'd have a family. That's true. You'll have a roof over your head and uh, work to keep you busy. I'll survive. I've survived worse things. I'm sorry I couldn't arrange anything better. No doubt it's God's will. Thank you, Henry. Herman, I... Yes? Farewell. And thank you for everything. No need to thank me. I'm glad I had a chance to get to know you. Promise me you'll take care of yourself. You deserve a better life. I just... Promise me. I promise. Farewell, Alishka. Jesus, look where you be a bit more careful. I'm sorry, Herman. That's all right, Hal. I suppose she'll be better off. Here you are. Thank you. 